What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and do my YouTube cash envelope stuffing for August 2021. So, if you're interested in videos like this, consider hitting that like, subscribe button, comment down below, tell me what you guys think. And without further ado, let's go. Alright, so over here I have my little wallet which has my small cash envelopes. I'm just going to take them out so you guys can see how they look like. I decided to go ahead and make brand new cash envelopes for myself. I separated my new cash envelopes and I decided to actually make envelopes that had money coming in and money going out. So that's how I decided to go ahead and separate it this time around. So I have two. These are my sinking funds. And this is the going out or coming in money so in here I have my YouTube envelope and the money in there along with unexpected money that I received because I actually went to the casino with my mother over the weekend so yes very blessed with any little amount that I received and I'm just happy you know so let me just go through the very very quickly the sinking funds that I now have I put them in the order of priority to me i know that many people out there probably like them for them to be alphabetized i just do it for me and what works for me and this works for me personally i first category that's the most important to me is my emergency fund so i decided to go ahead and make an envelope for that this one will be getting the most money from my regular nine to five cash stuffings okay so this should get should get bumped up probably around like two three thousand up to four thousand dollars by the end of the year next will be my cart maintenance this one has some money in there we're not going to count out just showing you guys you know the categories next will be my health because those co-pays i do have to you know pay for it or let's just say that i just need a box of tampons whatever i will take it out from here okay next will be my parents you guys know that i would like to take out my parents to eat a month ahead pretty self-explanatory next will be my holidays this includes you know anywhere from halloween um fourth of july memorial weekend everything that has to do with holidays goes in there christmas i actually made one even though it's a holiday i made it separately because with this specific money i actually choose to go ahead and buy the gifts with whatever money i allocate in here i currently don't have anything in here because i've already bought all of my christmas gifts with previous cash that i had this is my disney envelope many of you guys know or if you don't know and if you're new thank you for coming Disney envelope, it's because I'm actually going to go away on vacation this coming next year. Probably by the end of February, beginning of March. But yes, I'm super excited and this is actually also a top priority. That's why it's so up close to the other ones. Birthdays, my people's birthdays, my family members. There's a total of five family members currently. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit how I'm planning on putting more money in here because I did notice that this year I actually had two birthdays or like a birthday that I wasn't expected at all and I actually took money from here to buy those gifts so this year around coming I'm gonna just allocate more money towards it just in case birthdays pop up on me that I don't know about so yes this one is my birthday I currently don't have any money in here because I usually use it up for myself you know i don't wait until my birthday hits which is november 22 i actually just use it as i go and i just buy myself the things that i want because i like to gift myself on the regular tommy i am actually planning on stuffing him his envelope a lot because i want to be you know taking better care of him and i'm not saying that i don't because i give that child everything and more but I just want to get him, you know, the nicer furniture that he needs and requires. I will also like to get him that huge circle ball that it's like kind of like a hamster wheel, but not really, but made for cats. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's huge. And it's something I think that he would get a lot of use out of. So 
that's something that I want to purchase for him. Along with just money for the vet and stuff, you know, his checkups. Kids is my niece and my nephew. I don't have any kids, but I treat them as my kids because I do spend money on them. So that's that. Beach, this one has actually been completely funded. And I currently just have $100 there just sitting, waiting for the next time that I go to the beach. I usually spend around like 25 bucks for the beach each time that I go. And I allocate it, I believe, about five times that I go to the beach. Peru apartment, my baby. That is my dream. I actually took out all of the money that I had in here, saved up, which was about, I believe, like 200 and something dollars in order to put towards my debt and have it completely paid down. So this is definitely a priority and going to get stuff back up. New wardrobe, that is another sinking fund that I actually decided to go ahead and add this time around. I now have the money in order to go and put it in each and every cash stuffing. I mean, I'm not the type of person that goes into, let's say, Walmart or let's say Marshalls and just buy up a, a bunch of clothes. No, like I buy clothes whenever like literally my clothing is tearing up. Yeah, so this one is kind of like a low top priority, but I still wanna get like a nice shirt or something here once in a while, you know? Tech, I actually saw somebody in the budgeting community just allocating money for her future, you know, cell phone. Now cell phones nowadays are so expensive. I don't see myself buying it's such an expensive cell phone to be quite honest but me just having like a little bit of money should anything and or something happen to my current phone you know I can get a replacement like that so I'm looking to funding that as well so basically all of these thinking funds are really important to me but just you know the order of them it's very very significant so let me go ahead and just close this up and now I'm actually gonna show you guys you know this envelope over here or cash binder whatever you guys want to call it so this is the ink coming ink <laughs> this is the incoming money so as I mentioned to you guys I did have some unexpected money and I decided to go ahead and just make an envelope just dedicated for unexpected or you know just roll over roll over money is also unexpected money so that money is gonna go in here I went to casino I won some money thanks to mommy because she's a real one let me tell you but um, I have $20 that I can allocate to anywhere that I want I didn't spend that one cent and I made 20 bucks so I'm happy with that and YouTube what you guys came here for I'm gonna go ahead and just take this out and we're gonna just begin our cash stuffing in just like a few seconds so bear with me please over here I made a brand new envelope that says credit card now all of the payments not credit card payments well technically they are credit card payments what I do if you are new is I use my credit card with the money that I have already allocated in a category so let's pretend I go ahead and I go to Marshall's and I see something that I like that's like about ten dollars and I know that I have that money in my cash envelope that's worth ten dollars I go ahead and I use my credit card for that exact amount I come back home I take it out from my cash envelope and I put it into this lovely envelope okay so that's how it works out and then at the end of the month I go ahead and I pay it off so that's kind of like working for me right now I just started doing this like a few probably like a month two three months ago and it's just been really really helpful because my credit is kind of like getting used and I just stuck there so I really really like that system for now over here I made one for parking many of you guys know that I now have to pay for my parking and it is about $50 per month I'm gonna be stuffing that as well and payment I believe that I'm just going to start showing you guys or just putting away you know like rent payments and stuff like that so that is going to be allocated in there okay now let's begin the cash stuffing first i'm going to go ahead and just worry about this one first and then we're going to hit the unexpected so let me actually put this on the side and as many of you guys know i actually this is just youtube money so what 
I had them before previously, I would just take this money and just put it all towards my debt. Being the fact that now I'm debt free, I no longer have to do that and I can put it towards where I want it to go. So this time around, I'm gonna go ahead and just count it with you. So I got paid a total of 100, 200, 40, 60, 80. Okay, so I got paid $280 for the previous month, not this month, because that's how YouTube works. However, I do need to go ahead and take out money for the taxes. So I believe it is around, let me see, 280 minus 30%. It's 196 that I'm left with. So that means $84 have to be taken out from here. I'm not gonna worry about the $4. I'm just gonna take out these 80 okay and it's gonna go towards my taxes now I do have an envelope just dedicated solely for my taxes from YouTube I like to be organized in that aspect you know not have it like all you know you know what I mean okay so this is just for my taxes for YouTube oh my god look Tommy has money okay so don't paint that no mind I'm actually gonna take that money out and put it in Tommy's envelope right now completely forgot about that <laughs> okay so I have I believe like close to like 400 to 300 dollars in here I'm not gonna count it because I don't want this video to be super super long you know but it's just a lot of money and yeah okay and that is fine like four dollars it's not gonna do much as a difference so what I'm actually gonna do since we're just here these are my old envelopes, so that's why. And I'm not gonna make, you know, brand new envelope just for that one. It, this one is perfectly fine. But the other ones I did decide to go ahead and do. So let me go ahead and just take this here. Oops, mira, I, I forgot, okay. There you go. And I honestly just find that these, you know, binders are very, very like flexible like the ones that I used previously, they will like get on my nerves sometimes. Like I will have to like hold them down like the, the flap with my boobs. Yeah, <laughs> like you guys didn't see it because it doesn't show on the camera. But I'm literally like going like that with my boobs so that it stays down. It's crazy. But anyway, that's a fun fact that you guys didn't know. Okay, <laughs> let me go ahead and put Tommy's money in here. So Tommy just has probably like a few bucks only. Yeah, only like four bucks. And that is remaining from his, you know, $20 that he didn't use it all up. Now, I usually buy his food, litter, and all of that. I allocate about $20 just for him um, bi-weekly. So, yes. And Tommy is my kitty, if you guys don't know. All right. So, what am I going to do with these $200? I'm actually going to go ahead and just put it towards my Disney. Yeah, my Disney envelope. Now, I was a little bit torn apart because I wanted to spread it out all evenly throughout all of my cash envelopes, but I just said to myself, girl, you have to buy those tickets, and those tickets are like $390, and I have to buy them <coughs> at the, sorry, my throat, at the end, not end, but like at the middle, I believe the 17th of September, that's when I have to purchase the tickets for the hotel and the flight and I just don't want to be left with not having the money to do so and that was actually like one of my goals like once I become debt free then I can like use that YouTube money to put it towards experiences so Disney will be an experience that I have enjoyed before but this time around it will be with my niece and my nephew and my whole family as a whole if you guys have not watched that video I'm either gonna put it here in the in the cards or just below it is just me breaking down how much money i need for disney as a single person that's going over there and you know enjoying life but yes so those 200 dollars right away to disney and out of i believe like 390 dollars that i need that leaves me with needing to complete that let me see 390 minus 200 $190 that I need in there and that's probably gonna get stuffed with this coming next week's cash stuffing from my regular nine-to-five job 
So, yes. All right, let me go ahead and just close this up. And the reason as to why I actually took out these mini envelopes, because I wanted you guys to see how I kind of like wanted to go about it, like super like, you know, chic, plain. And I like the fact that it like combines all together. So, yeah. So these are my receipts gas and my food i don't know if i will make these envelopes available in my shop i may i may not by the time that you guys see this i may have already so check out the link below if you guys are interested but one of the reasons why i probably wouldn't it's because they're really really time consuming to do and i think i spend close to like two days and just like making like all of these you know I believe that people have a misconception that just because you're like a small shop <laughs> like you can just whip up you know cash envelopes for yourself which is true you can but is it smart to do so yeah yes and no it's not that smart because you're using your own material <laughs> you know but it is smart because you're also using it to kind of like promote what your business is about but I like to use my envelopes as much as I possibly can until like you know I decide to just fresh start fresh look type of thing so that's what I decided to do this time around all right let me go ahead and just put this over here and I'm gonna show you guys my hold on I'm gonna show you guys my planner so I'm just gonna give you like a quick rundown of how I have been doing this week I believe that I've been doing super good and I'm actually gonna go ahead and just zoom you in just a little bit so you guys can see so today is Monday I didn't do anything like you know I didn't spend any money so I'm gonna go ahead and just take my little thing here let me just zoom you out and if you guys are wondering what this is I got this from Munbin it is a label maker they sent it to me I still have to do the video for it just explaining to you guys what it's all about and how it works I love it it's so cute and compact like I cannot wait to show you guys just in a separate video what it's all about and how you guys can get your hands on one they were really really kind and they sent it to me you know but this is the labels that it does it's so cute and shiny but that's how I've been using it just to completely organize everything you guys know I'm such a like organizational freak in a weird way but yes I just I love neat tidy things yeah so that's where that came in let me go ahead and just take my little no spends and just put it for Monday now please bear with me because I have no nails <laughs> I decided to actually go ahead and like give my nails like a break that's why you guys like don't see them like the big ones have how you've seen them before and that is because I just want to take better care of my nails like I love fake nails don't get me wrong but they are so damaging to your natural nail bed that you know I'm just trying to get them healthy once more I'm not saying they're not but they could be better like they're very very brittle sometimes but yes all right so tomorrow I don't know whether or not I'll be spending some money I hope that I don't let me actually take this out of the way so you guys can see so I believe the last time we probably like left off maybe like on a Friday but yes um, I got paid the 280 I rounded to 280 because that's the amount of money I can actually take out from the bank I did go to Goodwill and I spent $9.71. I went to Aldi and I actually overspent by $2.50. And I went to Shell and I used $20 from that. So my whole entire $20 went towards my gas. Yes. Um, let me actually show you guys something new that I have. I don't know whether or not I will place it. I know it sounds like a lot like of me saying like I don't know but that's because it is very very time consuming in doing it so I don't know like sometimes I don't want to you know kind of like over tire myself in that aspect because I have other things that I have to like focus on and I like to be focused on one thing at a time but I do like creating things for myself and I know that many of you guys like the things that I create and I thank you so much for you know always being super supportive and checking out my shop and buying my things you guys are literally the, the 
flipping best community ever. But yes, so this is brand new. I did it myself. I went ahead and, you know, did the whole thing, like, one by one. That's what I mean. It's, like, very, very time-consuming. But it's cute, and I like it. It's my sticker pouch that I just recently did. But I'm super happy because, like, it holds my, you know, thing. And, like I mentioned before with the other item, if I decide to go ahead and sell it, I'm going to put it into my shop. So just be on the lookout. If I do, if I don't, it is fine. But it's super cute. I like it. I love it. And, yeah, it's blingified. All right, what I actually also wanted to talk to you guys about was this first debt free cash stuffing that I will be doing in September so Friday September 3rd over here that will be my first official cash stuffing I don't consider this one for YouTube like my official one because the amount isn't that big or huge I consider that like my regular nine to five that pays me like you know a thousand and up but yes so I want to show you guys the goals that I have for my sinking funds as a whole, okay? So let me go ahead and just put it right there and just show you guys. So what I've decided to do actually is for my emergency fund, I think like a happy medium will be $4,000 that I want to have. And that is including the amount that I already have saved up in my high yield savings account. And if you guys don't know what that is, I'm going to link it down below so you guys can see where I allocated my high yield savings account money, like which bank. Okay, so basically what I will have to come up with for that cash envelope that you guys saw, this one, it would be $3,000 that I need to save up in here. And I will just put like a thousand, like once I reach like a thousand, then I will put it in the bank in my other high yield savings accounts for Capital One. And that's how I'm going to go about it because that envelope is just going to get way, way too thick. And yeah. Next, my goal for my cart maintenance envelope is actually having a thousand dollars. Now, maybe to some people that's not a lot to me. I just think it's quite enough. I know that the pricing of like the tires, the cart maintenance and all of that, like it will be getting replenished, but my goal is to have at least a thousand dollars in my cart maintenance. Next will be my medical slash health. You know, a few years back I had like some trouble with my ear and it was like $250 flat that I had to pay out of my own pocket. I didn't know back then that I could use, you know, the little card that my job gave me. So yeah. But like I mentioned before, my medical could be anything, you know, from tampons, things that I need, like health-wise. So, yeah. And for my parents, I know that you guys see a six and a three and a three. So, my parents are still currently married. They're together and everything, right? Um, so, I decided to go ahead and take them out per year six times, individually, just one-on-one. -on -one. So... I'm allocating $300 per year. Yeah. So three times I'm going to go out with my mother and three times I'm going to go out with my father. Not both of them together. No, I have to be strategic about this. Okay. <laughs> because if I take them both out together at the same time, it is a lot of money for three people in one shot. I may be able to do it maybe like down the road or maybe I just decide to go ahead and take that money and just, you know, put it all in together. But I actually enjoy it better to have that one-on-one -on -one connection and time with that person rather than have like multiple people and you not having that one-on-one -on -one talk with them. What I've actually figured out is that I can click better with my father or my mom whenever we're just alone and just talking literally about anything and everything. I actually did this with my mom. We recently went to the movies together and she just told me her old childhood stories and everything. Things that I had no idea about, mind you. I'm almost going to be 30 years old. So I take that time super, super precious because, you know, time is something so fragile and many people think that they have the entire time to like sit down and talk with one another when in reality you don't because you never know when somebody's gonna be here today or gone tomorrow so that's what I'm planning to do take them each out you know not obviously not gonna do the same thing over and over again 
maybe one time I will go to a restaurant and be like, hey dad, let's go out. I'm taking you out. We're going to go to a restaurant. And then my mom, it could be the movies. And then the next time it will be my dad. So I'm going to alternate it in that aspect. And I will be needing $300 in order to do so. So I'm kind of like ballparking it, maybe like $30 if that. Or just for both of us to go out, maybe like $30, $40. I don't know quite yet. It also depends on the place that I choose to go to. But yes. Now, on the month ahead, I put there $700 because that is around the amount of money that I need in order to be a month ahead. And per month, that covers literally everything. But when I tell you everything, I don't mean my cash, my sinking funds at all. Like when I tell you just bare bones, bare bones. $700 I need straight for myself, for Tommy, for car insurance, for everything that I have going on. $700 that I need a little bit tiny tiny a little bit more than that but I just rounded it to that next will be holidays I did the math and there are 11 holidays in the year meaning I need about $600 in that holidays envelope so if you divide that by 11 that is about like $55 per holiday now this is just me myself and I you know it could be 4th of July, we're going to do a cookout, and I have to put in some money, and I think that 50 bucks is enough, to be quite honest, you know. Next would be birthdays. Now, like I did mention to you guys before, I am kind of like ballparking. I currently have six family members in, sorry, not six, five family members, no, six, sorry, six family members in my household, niece and nephew, brother-in-law, sister, mom, dad. So, those six are each receiving $30 for their birthday presents. However, I do have to, just in case, you know, birthdays pop up, I'm just going to put in there two more heads, meaning that I will be needing $250, okay? Now, some of the gifts obviously are not going to be $30. Sometimes it's way, way less. Literally, the present that I got from my father only cost me probably like maybe like $18, if not a little bit less than that, and psh, that's when in, in my thing but it was on clearance I did it way before like I didn't do it that same day so you know time is essential whenever you are getting these gifts and when they're on sale or on clearance it's just just way way better next will be Tommy like I mentioned to you guys I want to do a lot of things for him and that's gonna cost me about six hundred dollars after that will be in my life insurance now this is not really a top priority to me just yet it will be at the end of this year i'm going to get just really really serious about having life insurance the thing about it is i'm young and i know that i shouldn't be relying on that because so many things could happen you know however I did see like some websites on how much money it was going to be you know monthly and even though it may not seem like a lot because it honestly isn't but still I could use that money for now for something else and just worry about this at the beginning of next year so that I have the full entire year in one shot so I'm looking at a life insurance at about like eight dollars per month meaning it's $96 per year. So what I want to do is just allocate $100, you know, before the next year begins so that I just, psh, I don't even have to worry about it or think it. It's just there for it. And yes, next will be beach time. I allocated again $150, which is me going to the beach five times in the year. Peru apartment, I would like to have $500 by the end of this year. Hopefully it happens, but you never know tech meaning any you know laptops or just anything like a cell phone i would like to have two hundred dollars and yeah for my office you know my little area over here i can't call it an office because it's literally half of my bedroom but still to me it's you know my little workstation and i would just like to upgrade it just get a better you know desk and things like that so i'm just putting two hundred dollars there okay so that's the breakdown that i wanted to tell you guys i know that you probably like say sons that's like a lot <laughs> but i'm just like very like 
intentional with what I want my money and my sinking funds to look like. Like I don't want to have it like all over the place and not know what I'm doing, you know? But yeah. So that is that. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for coming by and just watching the cash stuffing. You know, the explanations behind everything. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. May you all have a blessed day, blessed week. And I will see you on my next one.